Hey guys, Miles here at Tactical Hive, and I'm here in the Philippines, just wrapped up a training session with Brotexon, who you've seen in one of our past videos. And I was pretty amazed by his guns that he uses, competition guns, and he uses a 2011 platform, a brand here local to the Philippines called Metrillo, yeah. correct? And the specific model is the Master. And this gun, compared to a lot of the other guns I've used, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely different. And I'm just gonna outright say, it shoots better. <laughs> it sh I'm outright saying it right now, it shoots better. And so, Bro's gonna talk a little bit about the gun, and I'm gonna share my, my opinions and what, what, was, what seemed different compared to some of the other race guns that I've shot. So this is the, the Master, the latest model of, of the Matrilo Gun Corp. So it's a caliber 40 limited or, or standard gun. What I like most about this gun is that it's quite heavy. Like what we do usually here in the Philippines is we sleeve up the barrel with tungsten and which definitely makes it heavier. It's one of the things that makes my shooting better. One thing what we were talking about too is the, the very fact that you can customize this to yeah. your the way you want to shoot where uh, you were saying like the grip, the grip yeah. one thing i noticed with this grip is that i can hardly ever touch the mag release in any gun right and now i know you can get different lowers and frames yeah. like that but this one already accounts for that and pretty much right when i gripped it it just feels so much better yeah then maybe because also the shape of the grip like for me the, this grip is perfect because you can comfortably grip the gun tight and just feels good shooting it, yeah. Uh -huh. So in terms of uh, the Matrilio, when I shot it, as you'll see in some course of fire, maybe in a previous video, the trigger is extremely light. I, I was really surprised. Lighter than any of the US manufacturer guns that I've shot thus far, in the sense that it was so light that there were times where I was just bringing the gun down to the plate, not the sights were not even there yet, and boom, <laughs> it broke the shot because I was trying to prep the trigger, right? So that, I, I like that, it just takes some time getting yeah. used to it, right? Yeah. But as you can see, it also has a prep on it, like uh -huh. a small crawl on it. Yeah. But I think my trigger is 1.5 or 1.8. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it might not seem like a difference to you guys, like when you have like a two pound trigger versus let's say a 1.5 or something like that, but it really does when you shoot yeah. a lot. And so that's what I noticed because uh, my triggers are about, you know, so, sub, sub two pounds, somewhere there, somewhere yeah. there, but that little, you know, that 0.5 makes a difference. Yeah. On the other thing though, that we were talking about earlier, which I found really funny is this gun, when you buy it, they don't tell you the specs. Yeah. Like they don't tell you the spring weight or things yeah, so like that. Give it to you, it's, a, it's competition ready. It's already yeah. tuned and, and you just shoot it and yeah. have fun with it. So yeah, that's it. You, you, you buy the gun, it's already tuned and you shoot and if you have problems that say oh I, I don't like the feel of the recoil yeah, just return it and after a few hours you just get it and it's all done yeah <laughs> so, so i mean that's one thing that uh i guess the advantage of buying this gun here in the philippines only versus here in the philippines. yeah only in the philippines. many gunsmiths here in the philippines and they have all these shops and everything uh -huh. so yeah it's, it's complete so one thing i can say after shooting bro's gun here is um the recoil and we are shooting 175 power factor rounds, yeah, was it? 175, 177 power Yeah, so they're, they're definitely hotter rounds than what I shoot. I typically run my 40 at about a one, just, just above the minimum, like 166, 167. This felt really, really good. I, I, I can't even, that's what I said in the beginning of the video, based on if you guys have followed my stories in the past, I've shot a lot of race guns and haven't found one that I've, I've really helped been rely that's been reliable and I like the performance. This is something that, gosh, I'm really, really surprised. Also, as uh, Bro was mentioning, it's top heavy, like the muzzle heavy here, which helps with recoil. I really do feel the, the tungsten barrel makes a difference here. Uh, other things that I noticed were just the ergonomics of this gun. I don't know if it's something that is made more for people from the Philippines here or something like that, but it just fits. It yeah. fits, it fits perfectly. Right yeah, it fits it's perfectly. Like molded, molded to your gun. Exactly. Yeah. And again, I've never even held this gun, and when I touched it, I was like, "Wow!" The rear sight, too. Uh, as Bro was mentioning, it's a it's That's, manufactured yeah. by Matrilio. It's their own design. Yeah, it's their own design, and I like it a lot. It's fully adjustable. I mean, other other rear uh, rear sights will be adjustable if it's a race gun, but I do like how it is a, a thin rear sight. At the, uh, at the back here. It doesn't have a wide notch or anything like that. Some people like it to be wider, but this one isn't. So I did like this in terms of, I, I can see it helping in precision shots if you want that. Other things like the, the design of the gun, 
is just, it's pretty cool. It's a really, really cool looking gun and it functions extremely well. I was talking about also the mag release here. I also held another gun from Matrilia where they even angle, they angle the mag release yeah. up where, so they, there's attention to a lot of detail. So I was very surprised. I've never shot this gun and um, I haven't seen like some of the little details or the, I guess the, the feeling of the gun and other race guns I've tried thus far. Now, of course, I haven't shot every single race gun out there, right? But uh, I'm very impressed with the gun. Um, so, I, you know, like if you guys get your hands on this or if you ever train with bro or anyone here in the Philippines who has a Matrilio, this is definitely a great gun. So it was awesome to shoot bro's competition guns because it, I've been exposed to a lot of the major race gun brands in the US and haven't really tried other brands. And it just goes to show you, it really just be open open to trying other guns because now i'm familiar with certain features and i know that there's certain feel to the gun that's possible where i didn't know that the feel of this recoil was possible with other platforms but it is so now that i know that it's possible i'm going to be looking for that in the us you know a brand so i'm not going to settle for anything less anymore i'm going to look for this so i really appreciate it bro that was awesome yeah, and uh yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to actually looking into more about how to modify these guns to actually match this. Because like I said, it, it like, it's like it was made for my hands. So thanks a lot, bro. Really appreciate it, yeah. man.